Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is the Tabata HIIT Workout with Weights. We're gonna perform four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. The only equipment required for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells. And the weight that you use will be totally dependent on your fitness level. While I'll be providing the easier modifications for today's workout, this is not for beginners. No. If you are a true beginner, go ahead and click the link up top and that will send you over to one of our beginner workouts. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, let's get this I'm thing ready. started. We're gonna start with the warm up. The first one we're gonna do is gonna be a one arm reach and knee raise, so opposite side arm and knee both come up at the same time reach up nice and high pull that knee up using your abdomen and core so throughout the course of today's workout it's all going to be about time we're not going to count any reps when we get this workout started you're just going to be performing as many reps as you can in the allotted time period and throughout this warm-up go ahead and keep in mind that this is just a increase your overall body temperature and warm up those muscles and joints so go ahead and take it easy on this warm up we don't want you to no don't do that <laughs> save don't, some save it save for the, some for this workout because you're gonna need it <laughs> <laughs> nice and light touches as you bring that foot down to the ground making sure to breathe you got it let's do this one for five four three two one and zero. Next, we're gonna move into a pull the rope. Feet and shoulder width apart, bend over in a 45 degree angle, weight back in your hips. I want you to reach out and pull back from your elbows, just like you're pulling a rope. This one's great to loosen up that upper body, shoulders, back, lats. Gonna get your legs warmed up a little bit, just maintaining this position. Keep your weight back in your hips. Get a full range of motion, big reach out in front, and then pull all the way back from those elbows. So don't pull back from your hands, but instead we're pulling back from those elbows. Good, again, moving at your own pace. It's gonna be so important throughout today's workout to really just make this workout your own. You need to lower the weight, increase the weight, whatever you need to do. Make sure to breathe. Let's do this one for just 10 more seconds. You got it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, last one in the warm up. We're going to do a straight leg kick and twist. So hands are out parallel to the ground. Bring up opposite side leg. Try our best to keep that leg straight. Kick and twist into it. If you can't quite get your leg up as high as we are, no big deal. Do the best you can or you can even just do your knee if you feel more comfortable doing so. Good, this one's great to loosen up that posterior chain, your hamstrings, your glutes, as well as your back. Good, again, making sure to focus on that breathing and moving at a warm up pace. Good, let's just do this one for 10 more seconds. Trying to keep your balance here for five, Four, three, two, one, and zero. Warm up is done. Let's it's do this. Show time. We need just one dumbbell for the first exercise. We're gonna do a combo move. We're gonna do a squat plus row. Feet at shoulder width apart. We're gonna put that weight back in your hips, and we're gonna pull back from the elbow. We're gonna do 20 seconds. You're gonna get as many reps in as you can in the allotted time period. Choose a weight that's appropriate for you. We're starting in three. Two, one, hit it. All the way down until those hips get to parallel to the ground. And then pull back from that elbow. Good, keep those shoulders square, core stays tight. We're gonna split two rounds on each arm. Let your legs get to work in all four rounds. In three, two, one, break. All right, switching hands. I'm going to warn you right now, these 10 second time or 10 second break periods are going to go by fast. Starting in two, one, let's go. See, told you. Full <laughs> range of motion, sit down, get those hips nice and low, keep your feet flat on the ground. Don't want to come over, come up onto your toes. Good posture and try to keep your head in a neutral position. In three, two, one, 
and break. Good. All right, again, 10 second rest. Shake out those legs. We're getting right into this if you didn't notice. And begin. All right, let's hit it. Again, how many can you get throughout the course of today's workout? It's you versus you. Just pushing yourself because nobody else can do it for you. What do you got right here? Come on, put it out there. Guys, we have five seconds. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Two, one, zero. All right, three down, one to go. That's right. Shake those legs out. Here we are in three, two, one, zero. Right into it. Come on. What you got? Last set of these. Put it all out there, guys. Pull back from that elbow. Keep your core tight. Again, if at any point in today's workout you need to change up your weight, go heavier, go lighter, we encourage you to do so. Don't feel like you need to use the same Three, weight the whole time. Two, one, and break. Excellent. Done with that one. Okay, we need both dumbbells for the next one. It's gonna be performed on the ground. We're gonna do a V-sit fly. I'm gonna have my feet up. Claudia's gonna have her feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. You decide which one is right for you. We're gonna lean back on a 45 degree angle, a little bend in those elbows, stretch that chest, and then squeeze that chest, keeping those abs nice and tight. Let's get started here in three, two, one. Hit it. Getting as many flies in as you can. Whoop. And again, trying your best to keep that back on a 45 degree angle. So if you're not feeling it in your abs on this one, that basically means you're not far enough back. Breathe, keep that core Three, tight. Three, two, one, break. All right, that's one down. Three, Three to, go to go on this one. So that's stretching your chest on this All one. All right, starting again in two, one, begin. Hit it. You got it, and as this workout gets tough today, it's gonna be super important for you to focus on what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever it is that drives you, what motivates you, what's your goal, what's your purpose. Be thinking about it every rep. In three, two, one, break. All right, nice. Woo, halfway. Two down, two to halfway go. Halfway point. That's right. Shake abs out are, those arms. Abs are going to feel it on this Starting one. Starting in now, actually. Oh, there Let's it go. is. All right. <laughs> I told you that 10 second break <laughs> goes by fast. It wasn't even worth the countdown. Nope. Just gotta start. Come on, let's go. Grind them out, guys. Pump them out. Breathe. Core stays tight. Feel that chest stretch and then squeeze that chest up the top. Two, one, break. Ah, nice. All right, Three guys. Three down, one to go right here. One more. Last one right here. Come on, finish strong on this one. In three, two, one, go. Good. And again, if you start any of these exercises on the harder variation, you need to switch to the easier. Totally cool all the way around. If it's too easy, you need to switch to the harder, do so. And don't feel like you need to keep up with our pace. Go at your own pace. Look in the mirror, that's your competition. Three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent, okay. All right, done with those. Next, we're moving on to a staggered skier. I'm gonna do an overhead version. Claudia's gonna do hers to parallel. Feet are shoulder width apart. Little bend in both knees, one leg back. You're gonna swing those dumbbells back, driving your hips back, and then Claudia is gonna bring her arms until they're parallel to the ground. I'm gonna bring mine up overhead. It's all in those hips. Hips forward, hips back. Starting this one in three, two, one, begin. Hips back, hips forward. Yes, we are swinging with your arms, but it's really about your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. That's right, so squeeze those glutes right at the top of the movement here and drive those hips back behind you as you swing down. Two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna switch legs. So switch which leg is in front. You should notice that your front leg is the one doing the majority of the work on this one. Three, two, one, let's start it. Good, and driving those hips back, and then hips forward. Every time, you got it. Acting act like you wanna touch your glutes to the wall behind you. Just stretching them back. Keep your back nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, that's two down, two to go. That's right. Switching legs again. Keeping this pace up. Come on, you Starting got it. again in three, two, one. Make sure you're maintaining a slight bend in both knees. 
and squeeze those glutes out the top. Every rep. Come on, you got it. One into the next. You're a machine. You got it. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. Ah, excellent. That's Ooh. three down, just one to go. That's right. You got it, you got it. Finish this one strong. Finish strong, here we are. And two, one, go. Good, feel that hamstring stretch. This is the last one, guys. Give it all you got. Finishing strong. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. You got it, keep breathing. But if you do, don't hold your breath. Good, keep going, keep going. And three, two, one, break. Ah, nice. All right, go ahead and set one dumbbell down. We only need one dumbbell for the next one. It's a combo move. We're either gonna start with a side lunge or a lateral squat into a shoulder press. Bring that elbow up and out to the side. You decide which variation is right for you. Do an all one side at a time. Let's go ahead and start this one in three, two, one, zero. Make sure you put that weight back in your hips, no matter which one you choose. If you're doing the side lunge, trying to keep that inside leg nice and straight. And if you're doing Claudia's variation, it's really similar to a normal squat, only you're already headed on your way down as you step. And two, one, and break. All right, so let's go ahead and switch sides, headed in the opposite direction now. In three, two, one, begin. All right, right into it. Feel that nice big stretch in those hips as you're going down. Nice, make sure to bring that elbow out into the side on that shoulder press and then return it right back to that starting position. If you wanna have your arm out for balance, that's cool. If you wanna have on your hip, Three, that works too. Two, one, and break. All right, that's halfway done with this one. Definitely another killer combo move. Beginning again in two, one, and let's go. All right, keep it up. This one's working everything from your hamstrings, quads, glutes, core, shoulders, triceps, all getting hit on this one. One rep right into the next, you got it. Fighting through that burn. Just keep pushing the pace. Three seconds, guys. Two, one, and zero. Whew, all, right. all right, one last one of these. All right, come on. Beginning in two, one, let's get started. Last one that game face on. Remember what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What are your goals? What are you working towards? Rep by rep, just getting that much closer to accomplishing that goal. Five more seconds, guys. Five finish more strong, seconds. finish strong. Two, one, and zero. Woo wee, good. good one. Just the one dumbbell for the next one. This one, we're gonna start with our feet, shoulder width apart. Interlock those fingers, grip around that dumbbell. Upper body's on a 45 degree angle. We're gonna pull back from the elbows and then push. It's a piston push, pull. P pull, push, pull, push. As many times as you can in this 20 second time period. Here it we are. Doesn't look like much, but. Oh, it'll get you. Everything you got, here we go in three, two, one, begin. Full speed on this one, guys. 100% effort. And again, not just on the pull, but on the push too. That core tight, back stays straight. Keep your head in a neutral position. You got it. Weight back in your hips. And three, two, one, break. All right, and if you're doing Woo. this one right, you're gonna feel it in your legs too, because <laughs> you're sitting back with that weight in your hips. All right, starting again in three, two, one, go. Go, everything you got right here. Again, pulling back on those elbows and bring that dumbbell into your sternum. Good, keep it up, keep it up, let's go. Come on, push that pace. You versus you. Almost there, almost there. In three, two, one, break. All right, two Ooh, down, wee. two to go. This one gets you in it really does. all types of different places. I feel like it really challenges your stability. I agree. Three, two, one, go. All right, excellent, keep that weight in your hips. Back stays straight, feet stay flat. You got it. Don't forget to breathe. Come on, everything you got right here, guys. Show us what you made of. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. Ooh, Just one, one more. more. That's it. One more. You Ooh. got it, guys. Stay tough. Stay strong. 
all about that mental toughness right That's here. Right. Where are you at? Where are Two, you at? Two, one, go. Come on. There are thousands, maybe millions of us at home doing the same thing, feeling that same burn you're feeling. None of us are special. All working towards that goal. You're not alone. We're right there with you. Come on. Grind it out. Grind it out. In five, four, three, two, one, break. Ah, nice. <sighs> Let's grab that second dumbbell because we're headed right into the next one. Let's go to the ground. We're going to do a ISO hip up plus chest press. Another combo move. I'm going to do my ISO hip up with one leg. Claudia is going to be off of two. Drive off those heels, keeping your glutes tight. And then we're going to perform a chest press all the way up, all the way down. Well, if you're doing the one leg, we'll switch legs every time. Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one. You got it. Either way, driving off the heel or heels, keeping your glutes tight. Want to work your glutes, not your lower back on this one. That's right. Just activate and squeeze those glutes. You notice I have my heels as close to my bum as I can get in this position. And just grinding out those chest presses in three, two, one, and break. Nice. All right. If you're doing the one leg, we're switching the leg. Make sure you're not bouncing your arms off the ground on this one. Nope. Starting again in three, two, one. Here we go again. All right. Hit it. Let's go. One down, three to go. Not much of a break. What are you made of right here, guys? I want you to impress yourself today. I want you to exceed your own expectations right here. One rep into the next. Keep it up. Almost there. And three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. That's halfway. Two down, Ooh, two goodness. to go. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Coming Get energy again up. in three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Come Let's on. do this again. Grind it out. Again, just getting as many as you can in this allotted time period. We are in this with you. Yes. We feel that burn too, Hasfit Tribe. We're right there with you. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Let's go. Come on. Almost five, there. Four, three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. All right. Three down. Take those 10 seconds. One last one. Use them wisely. Starting again in three, two, one. One last 20 seconds, guys. All right, make it count, guys. Come on. This is it right here for this one. Everything you got, put it all out there. All on the line, no holding back. Whatever you do, just keep moving. If you got to switch to the one leg version, that's okay. Just don't hit that pause button. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice. All right, you can set one dumbbell to the side. Next, we're going to do an archer row plus plank. I'm going to do it up on my feet. Claudia's going to do this one on her knee. So we're going to come up into a plank position. Come on to your side. Claudia's got her one knee down. Row, pull from that elbow, and then press up top. Full range of motion, full pull, and then press overhead. Splitting the time on each side. Keep that core tight. Let's go here in three, two, one, and zero. Back stays straight. So pull. Press, reverse directions. This is one of my favorite movements. I mean, this just hits so many muscles in a short period of time. From your core, obliques, triceps, shoulders, back. Two, one, break. See, I didn't even have time to name all the different <laughs> ones. Okay, so switching sides now. Opposite arm. All right, into guys. Position. Starting in three, two, one. All right. Go. Right back into it. Try to get full range of motion on that row. So return that dumbbell all the way back down before you pull again. Remember, pulling with your elbow and not your hands. That's right. Like you got a string attached to that elbow and just pulling back on that string. In three, two, one, and break. Nice. Okay. Halfway down. Two down, two to go. Come on. Stay focused. Stay strong. Not much downtime. Into get position, ready. Position starting in two, one, and begin. Let's hit it. Come on. Let's go. It's that time of the workout where it starts becoming more mental than physical. It's all about that mental strength, mental toughness. How tough are you today? Come on. Prove it to yourself right here. In three, two, one, and break. Nice. Switching <sighs> sides. Three down, one to go. You got it right here, guys. Stay focused. Stay in it. Starting in three, two, one, 
begin. All right, here it is. Coach almost didn't make it. I heard oh, him. I'm here. Come on now. <laughs> What's your why, guys? Focus on it. Trying to lose weight, gain strength, be better at sports, gain some muscle, whatever it is. Stay focused on it. And we got three, two, one, and break. Ah, nice work. That one's done. Check it off Ooh. the list. We're up on our feet for the next one. We still need just the one dumbbell. Another combo move on this one. Hold that dumbbell on either side out in front of us. We're going to step back and do a reverse lunge, twist into the side of that front leg, step back up, perform a halo, bring that dumbbell around your head, and then opposite side. I know it looks like a lot, but after you get a couple reps in, it starts to flow and you'll get the hang of You're it. You're twisting Here. into that leg. Into that lead leg. Here we are. In three, two, one, zero. Step back. Bring both of those knees until they get to about a 90 degree angle. And you're trying your best not to bounce that back knee off of the ground. That's right. Take your time on this one. Get familiar with the movement. And then as you get more comfortable, feel free to pick up the pace. This is a killer combo move. Three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent. Whew. That's one down. We got three to go on ten this one. Ten seconds wisely, guys. <laughs> yeah. Couple deep breaths. Starting in two, one, begin. All right. Stay tough. Stay focused on this one. If you're having trouble staying balanced, find a focal point for your eyes. Something to keep your eyes focused on. It'll help you keep your balance. That core nice and tight. You twist into that leg. And three, two. One and break. All right, halfway. Two down, two to go on this one. Again, one of our favorites. Just hit so many muscles at the same time. Two, one, begin. All right, hit it right here. Again, what's your why? What would you come here for, guys? Stay focused on it. Your dreams aren't going to become a reality overnight. But if day after day you put in that work, you will get there. Three, two, one, and break. Nice, and you're putting in that work Ooh, right here, more. right now. If this were easy, everybody be doing it, but they're not, not everybody's fit. This is hard and you got it right here. Two, one, begin, last one guys. Come on, we got it rep after rep. Doing what others won't so you can have what others don't have. Come on, you got it right here guys, keep it up. Stay strong, don't stop when it hurts, stop when you're done. And three, two, one excellent work all right we need that second dumbbell for the next one we're gonna do again believe it or not a combo move huh who knew surprise who knew who would have right. thought all right so it's gonna be a reverse curl plus knee raise elbows are in wrists are straight we're gonna curl and at the same time bring one knee up alternate knees keep those wrists straight elbows stay in let's hit this one in three two one zero good so every time you perform that curl, you bring that opposite knee up. Use your abs to help bring that knee up. Tuck it into your chest, into your midsection. Go at your own pace. If you need to drop your weight, you can. If you don't have any weights to drop to, just work at your own pace. Remember, good form and break. Good, all right, that's one down, three to go. This one's hitting my arms already. Yep. Keep those wrists locked. We don't want spaghetti Starting wrists. Starting again in two. One, hit it. Let's go. Right, go. Just think about how good you're going to feel when this workout is done. You can cross this off your list and go about the rest of your day. Come on, keep it up, guys. No matter how slow you're moving, you're still lapping everybody on the couch. In three, two, one, break. All right, good. Oh, goodness. Two down, two to go. Yep. My forearms are burning. Mine are on fire. Burn so good. And Here we go. Two, one, Go. You got it, guys. Right here, right now. Keep those elbows in. Keep that core nice and tight. Good. Just imagine drawing that belly button into that spine. And keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. That's right. Keep it breathing. You will regret it. I promise you that. Keep those wrists nice and tight. Elbows stay into your sides. In three, two, one, break. Excellent job. All right, here we go. One last one. Shake out this those arms. This is it right here. This is it. Got to fight through that burn. In three, two, one. One, let's go guys. Here it is. Last We're one. Right there with you. Come on, stay strong, stay strong. Whatever you do, don't stop. Don't stop moving. 
Don't hit that pause button. Halfway through. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Come on. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. Let's see it. Let's see it. Three, Three two, two, one, one. zero. Nice. <laughs> All right, go ahead and hold on to both dumbbells for the next one. We're going to bring those dumbbells up into a rack position. Palms are facing inward. So first thing we're going to do is a front squat. Weight goes back in your hips all the way down, all the way up. And on the way up, take one dumbbell, press overhead as we rotate. So front squat plus rotational press with one dumbbell. Alternating right to left arm. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Another, another banger here in three, two, one zero make sure you're putting that weight back in your hips on that front squat and as you come up you're starting to rotate and you press overhead finishing with your bicep by your ear and that palm remains facing inwards towards your head and three two one and break good Whew. make sure to use the energy from your legs to help press that dumbbell overhead starting again in three two one right back into it guys this is another excellent compound move hitting everything from your glutes hamstrings quads core triceps shoulders all getting hit on this one compound is just another word for efficiency and for full body and two one and break that's it oh. no muscles left behind today every <laughs> single one of them getting hit Claudia used that I phrase think a few I'm weeks ago. Trademark that. Well, I know I'd be and owing you two, some money on that. One, go. Full body workout here, guys. No muscles getting left behind today. Everything's getting hit. Keep it up. Weight back in your hips. Keep those feet flat. Don't allow yourself to come on your toes. Good. One into the next. Two and three. Your machine. Let's go. Two, one, and break. Ah. One more, guys. And those legs and shoulders start to. Catch on fire, you gotta remind yourself, that's just lactic acid, push that's past right. that burn. Two, one, begin, last on. one. Let's hit it right here. One into the next, guys. No letting off the brakes, just keep it moving. That's right, give it all you got. Everything you got right here. One rep into the next. Come on, stay focused. What'd you come here for, what is it? And three, two, one, break. All right, Whew. only need one dumbbell for the next one. I'm gonna drop the weight a little bit. We're moving to the floor. I'm gonna get into a bare plank position. So I'm on all fours and then I'm gonna come up off my knees. Claudia's gonna stay on her knees. We're gonna do a reach through plus fly, pull back with your upper back. We're gonna split two sets on each arm. Here we are in three, <laughs> two, one, zero. Core stays tight back stays straight try to keep a little bend in the elbow of the arm that's your support arm actually keep a bend in both elbows reaching through and pull back with that upper back breathe and three two one break all right nice oh guys just a short break and we're right back into it guys try to keep your core tight back straight three two one let's hit the other side also try to keep your upper body square to the ground so we don't want a lot of twisting and spinning but instead just reaching and pulling with that arm and that back good and three two one break good two down two to go oh goodness right here stay strong guys you can do here it, it it's all mental We're right That's there right. with you it's all mental you got this come on and three two one you teach yourself how to push past this burn how to push past this pain and you'll be able to use this strength towards not just physical things in your life but any type of adversity that might come your way pushing past it right here come on no matter how many times you get knocked down keep getting up and moving forward three two one break ah that's it guys right you here. have one more that's it getting knocked down and we're getting back up and we're gonna do another set here in five four three Two, one, zero. Finish strong, guys. Come on, finish strong. Last set, last 20 seconds on this one. Don't give up, don't slow down. Everything you got, rep by rep, guys. Remember what you came here for, what is it? What are your goals? Stay focused on it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, 
and zero. Excellent work. Let's take one that one dumbbell up on our feet with it. We're gonna do a dumbbell earthquake. Feet or shoulder width apart, a little bend in those knees. I want you to bring that dumbbell up overhead, load it, and then bend in, squat down to your knees and hips. Big power, back up. So it's like we're creating an earthquake. Boom, big power. Load those legs every single time. Make sure you got a good grip. Here we are. <laughs> Don't throw it. Don't throw the dumbbell. And three, two, one, zero. This one can also be done with a medicine ball if you have access to one. Boom. Every time, squat down, that weight in your hips. Big power, boom. Everything you got. Just a powerhouse, power factory. You guys, you have three, two, one, break. Ah, nice. One down, three to go. This one will kick your butt. Woo. It's kicking our butt too, you're not alone. Stay Starting tough. Starting again in two. All mental. One, go. Come on, big power guys, keep it up. Everything you got right here. No letting up and no slowing down. Yes, this is the point of the workout. Where you want to quit, you want to hit that pause button. But don't do it. You're stronger than that. Come Three, on. two, one, and break. Ah, two down, two to go. Right here. Stay tough, guys. Right here. <sighs> Couple deep breaths. Remind yourself of why you started this video to begin with. And begin. Let's hit it. Come on. Everything you got. Big power every time. Boom. Create that earthquake. If you're in the United States, I want them to hear you in China. I want them to hear you across the world with this one. Let's hit it. Come on. In three, two, one, break. One last one. That's it. Come on. You got it. You've come this far. Mm. Stick with it, guys. Stay strong. Starting in three, two, one. Last one. Here it is. Everything you got on this last one. Boom. One into the next. No giving up. No letting up. Big power. Let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Last set. Make it count. Make it count. Three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. All right, we're going to need your second dumbbell, and then we're headed to the floor. We're going to go ahead and lie down on our backs. We're going to do a dumbbell hold plus either leg raise or knee raise. So dumbbells out in front. First thing I want you to do is tuck that chin, bring your chin up off the floor. Dumbbells stay holding straight up and then either straight leg raise or knee raise. You decide which one is right for you. All right, let's get that core going here in three, two, one, zero. Make sure to keep that chin tucked. What that'll do is really take the pressure off of your lower back and make sure we're working those abs on this one. Keep a slight bend in both elbows. Try your best not to bounce your feet off the ground. If you have to, you can rest Three, your legs in between. Two, one, break. Good. One down, Ooh. three to go. So ideally, you're either just kissing the ground or not even touching the ground with your feet. But if you need to, you can rest in between. And begin. Let's go again. How many can you get? Right here. Push the pace, folks. This is it right here. Getting closer to the end. No breaks, no giving up. Just as many reps as you can. Stay focused, Five let's go. Five seconds, guys. Here it is, here it is, in three, two, one, zero, good. All right, two Ooh. down, two to go. Halfway mark on those. Feel these abs working. In three, two, one, begin. You got it, everything you got. No holding back, folks, no holding back. Concentrate on what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What's your why? Come on, stay focused on it. Come on. You got it. You, you got, got five it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Last only, break, guys. Only one more of these. That's it. Come on. Come on. That's <sighs> it. That's it. That's it. In three, two, one. Let's go. Keep that energy up, guys. Come on. Where are you at, Hasfit Tribe? Where are you at? Right here. We're right there with you. Not alone. Come on. Keep pushing yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. Let's go. Come on, guys. No giving up. Keep on moving. You guys, you have five seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Set those dumbbells off to the side. We don't need them for this next one. 
course, you're going to wish we had them. Heck, we're staying on the ground. We're moving into a <laughs> staggered push. I did a circle there. Moving into a staggered push up. So, traditional push up, our hands are uh, parallel with one another. This time, we're going to move one hand up, one hand distance, and then we're going to switch. Up. Clyde's going to do hers from the knees. I'm going to do mine up top. So, this is going to put more, a little uh, extra emphasis on the stability, full range of motion on that push up still. Here we are. And three, two, one, zero, begin. Just grind them out. How many push-ups can you get in this 20 second time period? This is meant to totally take it out of you. So if it is, don't be surprised. <laughs> Breathe, come on. Grind it out, grind it out for three, two, one, zero. Excellent, just that 10 second break now. And we're gonna switch. So if you started here, switch it up. And three, two, one, zero. Right into it, guys. Come on. Grind it out. Try your best to get those elbows down to a 90 degree angle. And then you're back up. I'm not sure where you come up with this madness. Oh, she likes it, guys. <laughs> she likes it. Three, two, one, zero. Two down. Two to go. That's it. Keep pushing yourself, guys. You got it. If Come I on. can do it, you can do it's it. It's about Trust that me. mental toughness right here. We're building it rep by rep. In three, two, one. Hit it. Come on. Keep it moving. No slowing down. If you got to drop to your knees, that's okay. Whatever you do, don't give up. Don't hit that pause button. And don't forget to breathe. No, don't do that either. Here we are. Here we are. Three, two, one, zero. One last one of these. Come on. That's it. Stay tough. Stay strong. No giving up. Last one. Here we are. Three, two, one, and hit it. Last 20 seconds. Everything you got right here. Yeah. Come on. This is it for the upper body. Empty it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Here we are. In five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Whoa. Ah, nice. Okay. Oh. So what we just did to your upper body, we're going to do to your legs. <laughs> we're going to move on over to a wall. We're going to do a wall sit. Claudia's going to use both legs. I'm going to use just one. You decide which one is right for you. Up against the wall, back against the wall. Drop down to your knees or to 90. She's going to do both legs. I'm going to bring one leg up. So we're here for 20 seconds. And three, two, one. And at zero. Again, you decide which variation is right for you. It's all mental, guys. That's right. Just get into that happy place. Any sane person would have given up or quit by now, but not you. You're stronger than that. Come on. Let's go. Hold and stay tough. Hold and stay tough. You got it. Here we go. For three, two, one, zero. Ooh. If you're doing the one leg, we're going to switch it up. now. Shake it up. Here we are. Here we are. Back in the ready position. And begin. Here it is, guys. This is it right here. And keep your hands off your legs. So if you need to bring them up here, do it. Remember, those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are both right. Which one are you? That's all I have to ask you. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here it is. Three, two, one. Halfway. Oh. Two down, two to go. That's it. You've made it this far. You're not going to quit right now, are you? Come on. Let's go. Prove it to yourself. How strong are you? Let's go back into position and down. Two down, two to go. Hold mm. it. Go to that happy place. See what Claudia's doing right there? Happy place. That's it. <laughs> Thinking of her daughter. Thinking of what her goals are. I want you in that same spot. Here it is. Come on. This is the time to really focus on that goal. What is it? What are you aiming for? And three, two, one, zero. Ooh. We have just one more. That's it. That's it, guys. Come on. Come on, let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? We're right there with you. Let's go in three, two, one, and zero. Here we are. Let's go. Come on. Last one. Stay tough. Stay strong. This is the last one. No giving up. No cheating. No cheating yourself. Nope. Come on, let's go. All mental. That's right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it. You're doing this for five seconds. That's Four, it. Three, two, two, one, zero. You made it. Nice work. Nice work out there. Way to Ooh, hang I tough. I got a shower off that one. Well, you know, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to finish with a little cool down. 
It's going to allow our heart rate to come down slowly. Allow us to catch our breath. And we're going to gain a little mobility along the way. We're going to stay on that wall. <laughs> this time we're standing up though, so that's good. <laughs> Go and lead up against the wall. Try to get your whole back flat and then bring your head, head and chin also tucked against that wall. Palms are facing inwards. Start with your arms down. Bring your arms up and over. Full range of motion. Back down. So overhead, Ooh. shoulder, lat, and trap stretch. Try your best to keep your whole back and head flat up against that wall throughout the move. I know it's a, it gets hard, especially after that killer workout we just got done doing. I don't know about you guys, but my arms are shaky. Ooh, my Must shoulders been those are shaky. It's That's okay. We must, we must have did our job today. Make sure to breathe, control that breath. Full range of motion. Nice. You got it. Again, trying to keep that back flat up against the wall for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ha. Okay, we're going to move to the floor for the next one. I'm going to stretch out those hips. We're going to start with a 90 90 stretch. So both knees are at a 90 degree angle. Now, just getting in this position alone may cause you to cramp. If it does, you go ahead and lean back and it'll take off some of the pressure, but hopefully you can stay up. If not, work there. And if this is too easy, go ahead and bring one leg, one toe in, and then come up into a pigeon. Here, you decide which variation is right for you. And we're just gonna hold. Breathe, concentrate on bringing that heart rate down slowly. Nice, big, deep breaths. Get to the part of the stretch where it's about 85, 90% where you have a good stretch, but where it doesn't hurt. And three, two, one, zero. All right, let's switch sides, opposite side now. Again, you're starting at 90, 90 and good posture. And if you need to, you bring that one foot in and switch Ooh. to the pigeon. Nice, big, deep breaths in through your nose. Ooh, and out through your mouth. You know, this is that point of the workout where you, you successfully achieved your goal for the day. You got, you're done. Give yourself just a second here to be proud of what you've achieved. Again, if, we're easy, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be fit, but they're not. Give yourself a second here just to be That's proud. Right. It is hard work. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, and zero. Good. Okay, we're gonna turn over now onto all fours on our knees and hands. We're gonna do a cat cow. So a little yoga move here for our spine and our back. So we're gonna start with the cat. Go ahead and pull up from the center of your back. Bring your chin into your chest. Feel that stretch as you pull your scapula straight up. And then let's return. Come in, pulling that abdomen to the ground, belly button to the ground as you come. Go ahead and bring that chin up. And then switch. Again, now pulling up from the middle of your back. Bring that chin into your chest. Feel that big stretch, like somebody's got a string attached to the middle of your back and they're pulling up. And then re reverse it again now. Good, bring that chin up, feeling that nice stretch all throughout your spine. And three, two, one, zero. Ooh. All right, come up nice and slowly. I don't want you to pass out on us. And we're gonna move into the last one in the cool down. We're gonna do a posterior shoulder stretch. So go ahead and pull the one arm across your body. Shoulders stay square. Pull across with that opposite side arm and you're just gonna hold. Ah. Feel that nice stretch throughout your shoulder. We beat those shoulders up pretty good today. Yes, we did. A little restoration work here to improve mobility. Again, nice deep breaths. For three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose. Opposite side arm. Here we are. Pull it across. Oof. And you might find that one arm is a little tighter than the other. For sure. Totally common. I think for me, my left one's a little tighter. Yep, my left for sure. A lot of times it has to do with what side you sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hold this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose and you're done. Excellent. You made it. High five out there. 
Way to push through right to the very end with That's us. Right. That was a tough one. Uh, yes, it was. We hope you liked this workout. And if you did like it and you've been working out with us for a while, you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission, keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you never miss a new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out hasfit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever social media we're there outlet you're using, please connect with Hasfit because we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.